Cindy here, physical therapist with Adaptive Equipment Corner. Today we're going to do a review video on the BZ board, which is a transfer board. We want to say thank you to BZ board for sending us some samples so that we could do this review. So if you find this video helpful, please like us on Facebook, follow us on Instagram, and make sure that you subscribe to our YouTube channel so that you can stay updated as we release new videos. Also, check out further videos on aecorner.com. So let's get started. So these are the three styles of BZ boards that have the disc-shaped sliding seat. So this disc or this seat slides across the board so the user sits on that and glides across the board for the transfer. So this is the original BZ board. It's a little bit longer. It is often used for a longer surface-to-surface -surface distance, uh, for example, getting in and out of the car, although I've also found this one helpful for doing that as well. This is called the BZ glider. This is also useful in a situation if you have a wheelchair that has non-removable arms. So what this allows you to do is kind of go around that arm to the other surface that you're looking to go toward. So this is helpful. That's the BZ glider. Then we have a little bit shorter board here. This is called the BZ2. This is to use in an area that is kind of cramped, sometimes in the bathroom, from a wheelchair to a toilet or maybe a wheelchair to a, tra a tub transfer bench. This would be helpful in that circumstance as well. So let's take a look at a transfer. So now we're going to demonstrate the BZ glider transfer from the wheelchair to the recliner without removing the wheelchair arm. Another thing I wanted to mention is when you have a rocker recliner, you may want to put something under the edge of the recliner, a couple of phone books. I've actually got a handheld weight to prevent it from actually rocking. So we're going to do this transfer now. We're going to have Christina take the BZ glider. We're going to have her slide that underneath her thigh and buttock on this side, there you go. And I'm just going to be here as a standby, just in case, just for safety. She's going to put the edge, her buttock on the disc, letting the edge of the disc still show the front edge of it so that she starts to glide across the board. So she's using her hands, gonna to start to glide across the board. As she comes across the board, the disc turns a little bit and she comes into the chair in the recliner. There you go, and she's sliding it out from underneath her. All right. So now let's take a look at the reverse of this going from the recliner to the wheelchair. Okay, so we're going to have Christina take the BZ board again. We're going to have her lean over to the side so that she's able to place that BZ board underneath her thigh and buttock on this side. We're pointing the end of the board to where we're wanting to go. We see the front edge of the BZ disc still exposed. That's what we want to do to make sure that we're gliding well on that BZ board. So she's going to start across using her arms. Now, even though this is uphill, a little bit uh, higher than the recliner seat, she's going to use her arms, let the disc slide up the board as she turns into the chair. Once she's in the chair, she's going to lean away from the board pulling it out and removing it from underneath her. So that was a BZ board transfer. And I do like this product, especially for caregivers that are having to do a lot of work getting their loved one from one surface to another. This really will reduce the friction and it will also reduce your workload in rather than physically having to slide them on that board, you're actually moving them on this disc across the board, which is a little bit less on the caregiver in that situation. You're gonna have to be careful and you're gonna have to practice with these boards. There's a lot of good information from from BZ on the technique of actually using these boards and taking care of these boards. They are a little bit heavy for individual use, but there are a lot of people that could use these as an individual that can do this transfer on their own as well. So be sure to check out the comment section below. We're going to put links to information on the BZ board. That's it for today from Adaptive Equipment Corner. Have a great day and don't forget, if you can't do it, adapt it.